when a high-end device like the Apple iPad Air 3 starts to keep crashing or shutting down randomly by itself, you can always expect it to be an issue with the firmware, as long as there are no signs of physical or liquid damage. In other words, you should be able to fix it and make it work perfectly again. Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you what to do if your iPad Air 3 keeps crashing. First solution, force restart your iPad. The first thing that you have to do, especially if it's the first time you encounter this problem is to do the force restart. It's a simulated battery removal that will refresh your iPad's memory and reload all its services. It is possible that this problem is just due to a minor firmware issue and this procedure may be able to fix it. To do this, press the home button and the power key at the same time until the Apple logo shows on the screen. Once the logo shows, release the keys and allow the device to continue the boot process. When the iPad has successfully rebooted, try using it like you usually do to see if it still crashes or shuts down by itself. Second solution, reset all the settings of your iPad. It is very much possible that this problem is caused by some settings on your iPad. It is impossible to know which setting actually make it crash, so the best thing you need to do is reset all settings. This will bring your iPad back to its default settings and configuration without deleting your files and data. Here's how it's done. From the home screen tap settings. Tap general if it's not selected yet. Touch reset, touch reset all settings. If prompted, enter your security locks. Tap reset to proceed with settings reset and then touch reset again to confirm. Your iPad will reboot after this, so wait until it's done. If the problem continues after this, then move on to the next solution. Third solution, factory reset your iPad. If the first two procedures fail to fix the problem, the next thing you have to do is reset your iPad. As long as your device does not have any signs of physical or liquid damage, a reset will fix this problem. However, if possible create a backup of your important files and data prior to the reset. When ready, follow these steps to reset your device. From the home screen tap settings. Tap general if it's not selected yet. Touch reset. Tap erase all content and settings. Tap erase now. If prompted, enter your security locks. Tap erase. Tap erase again to proceed with the reset. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future.